Well, along with dogs and cats, you may soon be able to own a lion, tiger, maybe even a bear. Oh my. Thanks for joining us. I'm Malcolm Maddox. I'm Malcolm Maddox. And I'm Malcolm Maddox. Neither party seems willing to budge, and time is quickly running out. John Hendren begins our team coverage. Happy belated Veterans Day to well, you. Well, thank you very much. And to my wife as well, my beautiful wife Amy. We met mm -hmm. in the Marine Corps, and uh, it was a beautiful Veterans Day. How could she turn you down? Absolutely we showed fabulous. your uh, picture in uniform yesterday. I mean, yeah, I wanted to kiss man. that guy. I'm like, look at this. <laughs> <laughs> Look at this guy. What happened to him? I got like wow. 30 pounds more on my face and body, but I'm going to get like that again one day, Mike. And beautiful days like today help facilitate help. that. I'm going to exercise. Tonight, Black Friday this morning, and it gets crazy. It's a nightmare for retailers and shoppers everywhere. But imagine being at the mall, being someplace shopping, and all of a sudden, the power goes out. That's what happened today. And Capitol Hill all but comes to Dayton as local leaders try to tackle the VA scandal. Good evening and thanks for joining us. I'm Malcolm Maddox. Fox 45's Liza Danver is live outside the Dayton VA with tonight's top story. Liza. Workers in Greene County have been busy cleaning up flooded roads. One major headache is Anderson Road. The road closed earlier today as crews worked hard cleaning up the mess. Hey, thanks, Jeff. Well, the sky may be cloudy, but the future is looking brighter for the former GM plant in Moraine. Developers have unveiled a new master plan for redeveloping the facility today. But as Chris Serenelli tells us, it won't be the first time the plan has been reinvented. Welcome back. House Speaker John Boehner pays a visit to the Miami Valley, but as Fox 45's Pete Scalia explains, not everyone was happy to see him. Big changes are coming to the way millions receive their federal benefits. The U.S. Department of Treasury is retiring the old paper Social Security checks. It's a move they say will save taxpayers about a billion dollars over the next 10 years. Proud, humbled, and excited. Those are just some of the words that describe how band members feel at one Miami Valley High School. They found out today they've been selected to take part in a legendary event. Rhonda Moore has the details. Definitely the Buckeyes will be uh, loaded for next year. Wright State very young, but you know Miami does it all the time. They play teams like Duke and Kansas. Yeah. It gets them ready for the tournament down the stretch. Uh, it might be a loss for Wright State, but it's a good experience for those kids. And a good test just to see where you are. You want to be able to. Especially right out of the gates, the yeah. first game. And those kids will remember that game for the rest mm -hmm. of their lives. You know. Almost as much as we'll remember April for all the rain. <laughs> yeah, I'll tell you what, we're on track to uh, set that record for the wettest April. We still need to get a little more than uh, 1.6 inches, but we have a chance tonight with some heavy rain on the way tonight and throughout the day tomorrow. I know your fingers are crossed too, right? <laughs> Good night.